Hello everyone and welcome to Pearl's Rescue. This is baby Lily. And baby Lily, who wants to go, she's not going to stay with me long. She's got to go, go, go and play. That's what kittens do. Baby Lily came with four other siblings. Three boys, which were pure orange, and Lily and Callie. And Callie... looks a lot like her sister so the five kittens came from a barn now mama has been spayed and the three boys have been adopted so I just have the two girls left to be adopted um, and when we adopt our kittens and cats we adopt them being spayed neutered fully vaxxed, microchipped, deflea, dewormed, and vet checked. Um, and so they're nice and healthy before they go to their forever homes. So these little barn kittens, who likely wouldn't have survived the winter or likely wouldn't have survived very long, maybe one other litter would have survived because there's predators, the winter's cold, but we saved their lives. Um, I would like to teach on my channel with my videos just knowledge um, to help. I would like to share my knowledge on what I've learned over the last eight years of rescue to help anybody else that not sure what to do on help to help by a stray or feral kitty. So my videos will be about that and also I would like to tell my stories on my rescues and teach how to socialize a feral kitten from completely wild, unsocialized, don't want to be touched by humans, to a kitten that can be adopted, you can handle without being scratched. And it is a process and I'm going to teach how that process works. So other people can learn how it is done. So tonight I'm just going to talk about one of my latest rescue. And what happened was we found out that there was a house with that was that had five cats in it, and these cats were basically abandoned. And the house was abandoned. The cats were locked in, in their own separate rooms, and in complete filth. They were sleeping and living in their own feces and urine. The environment they were all in was full of garbage, and it was pretty horrific. We rescued seven of them out of this home and we had to say goodbye to two of them out of the seven. The two of them that we had to say goodbye to, one of them we got to too late. He had been suffering for a very long time. He had been starving to death and suffering bad. His little nails were growing into her, his paw pads. So his nails had grown over right to his paw pads. So they broke the skin and went to, right into that paw pad. So the night we rescued him, I sat down and clipped his nails and took the nails out of the embedded paw pad. It didn't hurt him. They came right out, but he was suffering. He, we just got to him too late. He was a very sick boy. Um, so we loved on him the night they all came in and for the rest of the morning and we said goodbye to him in the afternoon. The other one we had to say goodbye to once we got to the vet, we found out that 
she had ulcers in her mouth and was suffering and wouldn't be able to drink and eat. And she would have starved. Um, and we couldn't help her with the ulcers. Um, and unfortunately, we had to say, say goodbye to her too. Those two kitties were approximately two years old. There is justice coming for these kitties that suffered in this in these horrific conditions that no human would would never want to live in. And these kitties were suffering, neglected for a very long time. But I do have one of the ones out of the five that are still with us, with me. And his name is Benny. And he is just a wonderful boy. And he's doing better each day. I'm going to get Benny. Benny. Benny, my baby. Oh, come see. Come see. Now this, this is Benny. And Benny is a very big boy, as you can see. See his paw pads? They're huge. Benny's going to complain at me. Yeah, he's complaining at Mama. And there you go, Benny. I was going to say, if you... I'll sit down with Benny. Benny, honey. Yeah, I know. Here, scratch your neck. Oh, you don't want to stay. Okay, okay, honey. So I just want you to see Benny's face. I'm going to let him go because he's not happy. It's okay, sweetheart. He's not normally this grumpy, but he's just a little bit grumpy right now. Benny went to the vet immediately the next morning after we rescued these seven. And what the vet told us about Benny was that he was very malnourished and dehydrated. Um, now, when you've seen Benny's eyes, his eyes are like that from being in, living in urine and feces and burning his eyes for I don't know how long. So his eyes were burned from the pneumonia and the living conditions. His eyes are getting better each day, but I don't think they'll ever be correct again. But he can see, and he is doing very, very well. He is getting healthier every day. Um, he is staying with me because he is an older boy. He's approximately 10 years old. And because of the horrific conditions he was in, and I don't know how long he was there, but for a very long time, and I don't know what the history of his life was, that I feel that I, because he is such a special boy, that um, to move him again into a new home or with somebody else would just be too upsetting for him. And he has settled in my home very nicely. He has not fought once with any of my kitties. Um, he's got, get, just came in and gets along with everybody. And so he's just fit in very nicely. Thank you for watching my video. And I will be adding more videos with newer stuff in it each time. On our rescue, what we're doing, how maybe you would like to help a kitty, a stray kitty. A feral kitty a kitten a feral kitten that you may find and you just don't know what to do with so I'm going to teach what to do when you find a kitty a stray a feral as we go along here thank you for watching God bless you all and have a good day